Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can see, we're going to check out just in time. I thought I could hit the recording button just in time, but evidently, evidently I was a little bit off there. Let's see. Some clever thinking required to solve this. No ninja moves or glitches required, but there are some moves that have to be timed right. Ooh, I'm not too much a fan of timing, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Prerequisites for testing. Two cubes. When the first one dies, the second will also tell a certain point. What? It's best to turn off player laser collision. Yes, okay, thank you, I will do that. What is the two cubes thing about, though? Let's go ahead and turn off laser collision, there we go. And... BAM! I only do that sometimes, I haven't decided. <laughs> Let's see... Well, that's interesting. We have... The funnel on some timer signage, huh? We get a cube, and also a fizzler turns off for a little while. Interesting. Hmm. Now, why would I want that? There's a button up there. Oh, this is the Rexora introduction music! I was like, what is that sound in the background? It's so quiet, you can barely hear it. But yeah, this is the music it plays when you start Rexora. And it's so quiet, you probably can't hear it unless you're listening very closely. Oh, it turned off this. Okay. Interesting. Not really sure what I'm doing, to be honest. Is there anything up here, or...? No, not really. Although there's a spot to jump into the funnel, I guess. What is that? What does this button do? Does that funnel... Why would I want that, though? Eh, it doesn't matter. I'll be respawning that cube anyway. We can go over here... ...which leads us to the other side of this. Wait, what? Why? Oh, apparently blocking that laser will turn off this fizzler? Okay. So that means that there's... Oh, what is that? That's a whole upper area, that's- that's a down-only path if I've ever seen one before. Let's see what this light bridge can do for us. Eh, whatever. Can't get the camera off when it's like that. So yes, you can jump into the funnel there, but... I'm not entirely clear on the concept of why, especially when the only way to get up here is to use the light bridge. Where was Slash again? I don't remember seeing Slash. That's... Moon. Is that a self... Well, it could be a self-starting laser, but only under the condition that you don't fizzle the cube to get the cube out of there. There's Dot. Does that have any other signage? No. Well, then where's Slash at? Because that's square. We need... So we need to somehow get up there and get to exit with Moon. Uh. Can I see that from in there? I don't think so, but we could try. Oh yeah, you totally kinda can. Totally kinda. <laughs> One or the other, not both. You kinda can, is what I wanted to say. Not- not very easily, though. Let's, uh... Let's maybe try that again, perhaps. 
Oh, that's, uh, yep, that's, that's death. <laughs> Maybe I'm just gonna go with the answer is no, unless I do some ninja moves. So, yeah, the answer is no. Laser cube has been put into position. Uh, could I have seen that from any other angle? I could have. Well, crap. <laughs> I've got to load our quick save again. see here. So if I stand right about... here... There we go. Oh, there's a... okay. So that's not even supposed to happen anyway, because we're supposed to not use any glitches. Gotcha. So that's not part of the solution. But obviously we'll want to do something... ...with that. I suppose we could try going for that, right? this in here first. There we go. And then, do that. And then... Well, crap. <laughs> I timed that wrong. Put it there. That. Aw, crap. <laughs> now I am just not good at that. Let's just load our quick save. That'll probably make things a little bit easier, perhaps. Although I'll have my portals the wrong way around, but whatever. I'm not even sure if this is what I need to be doing. It did say it needed... It did say... There are some moves that have to be timed right. Is this what you would consider a move that has to be timed right? That was terrible timing. I need to look in this direction. What am I doing? Oh wait, it worked! Uh, okay. I didn't expect it to work, but apparently it did. What does X go to? Um... Oh! X does... that? Why... would I want that, though? I'm a bit unclear on the concept. Why would I want that? What is all this other- I'm so confused, there's so much stuff... ...everywhere... ...I don't even know where to begin.
I'm glad there's little laser guards there to stop you from, like, angling the cube in just the right way to- to start that up. Although I'm not really sure... how you would... do that anyway. How are you ever supposed to hit that? Cause that doesn't go high enough. There's no way to lift a cube up that- to, up to there. I don't see how you would hit that. Where do you even get a laser from for that? I... don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll be right back when I figure something out? <laughs> uh, give me a sec. Alright. I've restarted the map, because I think I know what to do. So. First things first. We wanna grab the cube and take it up here on the light bridge with us. And plonk a portal there. There we go. Set this cube up so that the the funnel will pull it up. Don't let it fall in a portal. Thank you. Right, then we just funnel it up. Simple as that. We're up here on the light bridge. We can walk along there to get into the funnel whenever we want. Don't need to get up to the exit just yet though. So let's see here. What I want to do is black green. There we go. And that cube should turn off the deadliness for us. There we go. And now, as soon as I pass the deadliness, I can shoot the wrong portal. <laughs> ah, well, you get the idea. It's okay. That's what quick saves are for. <laughs> so yeah, there is a little bit of timing involved there. Not too much. Let's see. We can easily try this again. Black. Green. There we go. And I need to shoot my green portal. There we go. Nice. So now we can walk along here. And we can use this to do that. And... Then I assume we can do... I assume we can shoot the wrong portal... yet again. Okay, I need to... Maybe I should just actually swap my current portals around, or something, because this is just gonna be way too confusing for me. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's try this all again, please. Because I can't handle having my portals the wrong way. There we go. These are the wrong way, but it'll eventually end up with us doing it the right way. Which is what I want. Let's save here. Uh... There we go. Save here. Or, actually when he gets to the top, I'll save. So then, I want to do... Green... Black. Perfect. Oh, no you don't. Let's try this again, maybe. That's- I'm gonna call that one... Bad luck. There we go. Maybe it's because this isn't very centered. Alright. I think this is a good place to save. Take this. Perfect. Now's where things get a bit interesting, because I need to go up. I suppose I could just walk over here, and let the cube rise up with me. Slowly but surely, it will, I hope. Ta-da! Excellent. I guess I didn't actually need the cube, but it is nice to just have it there. Let's go ahead and save. Apparently there's a funnel... somewhere. Or maybe this is just a sound glitch because of portals, who knows. 
And that does that. Is this permanent? It would appear to be so. Ooh, interesting. I can do... Yeah, I can do that. Huh. Let's think about this for a moment here. Why would I... Like, I can't even get over there right now. There's... This is- this has got grading right here, so I can't even get in here anyway. So then what was this- what would this area be for, then? I'm... not sure. <laughs> I didn't think this- I didn't think this far through. <laughs> okay. <laughs> At least we've made some semblance of- oh, wait, I can hit this. What does this do? What does that do? Oh! It drops... a cube. Ah! Okay then. We have another cube now. So... what do I do with that information? What would I use the second cube for, and what the heck am I supposed to do in there? Am I supposed to, like, set up a cube in there, and then... How would you set up a cube in here, though, such that it would activate this? Like, there's not a way to do that without be without it being a glitch. So I'm not sure about that. I think I need to go back to thinking, so... <laughs> let's save here, and I will be right back. Alright, so... I think I have an idea. If I do... this, and then this... There we go. I get this guy in here with me. I think really all I want to do with him... is perhaps drop him on the button here. Ooh, but if I want to put him there, I have to fall off this light bridge, which is not quite ideal. I suppose I could just redo everything now. Huh. Let's save here, then. So now that funnel's on. Still not entirely sure I understand what it's for, though. That... No, I don't know what that's for. <laughs> um... I suppose let's find out. Together. There we go. Oh, eh, oh. Well, that's interesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's try that again, perhaps. Oh, I actually have to take the cube with me, you know. <laughs> I can't just run up here like a madman. There we go. Then, put the cube down. Nope, 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 nope. There you go. And then, uh, that. Save. Green. Black. There's that much taken care of, at the very least. Wait, what happened to that cube? What? What happened to my cube? Wait, what the? What? What? 
Hold on a sec. That's not part of the script. What happened there? I'm- I'm confused. First I lost one cube, and then I lost the other cube. What? When did I lose... That key was gone. Well, it's a good thing I made a manual save. I don't know what happened to that cube. It said that they respawn together? But only sometimes? Right? When the first one dies, the second will also... until a certain point. What? I don't know if I believe that. So we've got the... this is the second one, right? This is the first one. If the first one dies... Aha! Uh -huh. So the description is lying to us. But what happened to it then? I guess we need to do some more experimenting. Are they both tied to that button? But then why wouldn't there be signage for it? You can't just... not put signage on stuff. There has to be signage. Maybe I just can't see it. Whoa! That was weird. You saw that levitate, right? That wasn't just me. That was levitating. Right, well. What? Oh, don't you do that to me, game. How did that even happen? I was standing in the portal like this. I don't know how that happened. Apparently something happened, I don't know how. Anyway. Apparently I got it to go through the light bridge. Right, so. Let's put this in clear, plain sight. There. And let's see... Wait, is that an OR gate? Uh, I guess that is an OR gate. But anyway... This is where the cube comes from, right? Do you see any signage up here? Cause I don't see any signage up here. There is no signage. Let's just, uh... Are you kidding me?! Yeah, I am really not a fan of that. You d First of all, it's not explained properly in the description. You should say that the button respawns both cubes at the same time. And secondly, there's not even any signage for it. Why can't you just put signage like a normal person? Like, you could just make some glass ceiling up here and let us at least see the dropper and the cube and all that. That would be fine. That makes me a little angry. Right, well... Let's go back, and think about this some more. I need to do some more thinking. Like, I could toss the cube onto there, but that's clearly not intended. Also, I- I- I need to get up here at some point, don't I? I think there's a button up here or something? Can we see it from this side? Yeah, that's slash. Uh... And slash... is the funnel? Slash is the funnel. I think I figured that out earlier when I was experimenting, but I've forgotten. Why is it so loud over here?! There's no funnel here, game! You've lost your mind! There is no funnel here! It is the loudest in this spot. Which... If you look at that portal and you see the distance... And then you rotate that portal to face into this wall. Okay, so this will make it a bit more clear. You see that right there? And you see where the sound's coming from? Uh-huh. 
the game thinks the funnel... is right there. Or at least, the sound for the funnel is right here. Because this game does not handle sound through portals properly. This game does sound through portals in the weirdest way I've ever seen. I don't know how they thought that was an okay idea to do it that way, but, uh, yeah. That is so buggy. I mean, at least it's... <laughs> at least it makes some sense. You can see how they did it that way. But, yeah, <laughs> that's... that is bizarre. Weird game. At least I understand that bug now. I thought it was something like that, I just wasn't sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> why not? I mean, it's not like the people in the observation room care, really. Hey, wait a second. Aha! By George, I've done it. Now let me get this guy. No! What went wrong there? Come on, game. You know I had that. Welp. Time to load the quicksave. Didn't even get to press the button yet. You know, I'll just leave this there. Why not? <laughs> no, I'll leave it here. No, no, I don't need it up there with me, I'm just pressing a button. I can leave it down there. There we go. What do you do? What? Three seconds of reverse funnel? That's it? That's it, huh? That's all you got for me? Three seconds. And that's it. Well then. Why does it redraw every time you tell it to start reversing? That's something I didn't know about. What would I want to reverse it for, though? Like, I get that I could try and suck it in this direction with the funnel, but then it would just get stuck on this grating and it would go nowhere. And then, like, this funnel just pushes you against this grating. And I don't understand how you're supposed to do this at all. That- that- that's a mystery to me. And then this is graded off. We can't use the cube glitch to get cubes in here, because that's breaking the- the rules. The map says we can't use any glitches. Um. So what would we even use that for? Like this? Well, this does turn off. What? But only when that's active. So how are we supposed to activate this? That's something I'm unclear about. Cuz 
because nothing is high enough to, like, aim at it in any meaningful way. And we can't- if we put a portal there, this is just gonna fall. We need this as our laser source. And we can't, like, we can't put a cube on the edge here, point it up, to try and hit that, because that would be a glitch. Because you're not supposed to be able to hit it from the side like that. If it's completely perpendicular, you're not supposed to be able to hit it. Uh... I think I'm gonna go back to thinking, so... I'll see you once again, in a few seconds. Alright, so... What if... We do that, and then... that. Not particularly useful. But if we then do this... Does that help in any meaningful way? No. Does that help in any meaningful way? No. It's a ghost cube! Right, well. We have it back in here with us, at least. But did we want that? <laughs> Something tells me no. But, we'll go with it. I'll go with it. I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Let's put this guy over here. about this guy? Can't do anything in this room, really. Um, Valve? I would like to enter this portal. Thank you. Uh-huh. How does it help me? Not really seen anything useful to do here. I don't need to ever press that button again. So it means we don't ever need to mess with that again. We need to hit that somehow. And I don't see a way to do that. How is this meant to be done? Right, well. I think I need to load a save. So give me just a second, and we will load a save. Because I have another idea. Quite frankly, it sounds unintended, but when you see it, bear with me. So let's see. This is the one that auto-respawns. 
At least I assume it does. Um... Hello? Other- other laser cube, will you move out of the way please? Thank you. This is the one that does not auto-respawn. So it will go in a safe spot. Let's see if I can make a stair step from there. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, I can. Excellent. Right, so... In that case... Point this in this general direction. But more like... There. That's about as close as I can get it. Maybe. Just maybe. Nope. <laughs> well, it was worth a try. Does auto respawn, right? Yes, it does auto respawn. So at least I had that much right. I mean, it was close. Is there a better place I can do that from and not kill myself? I do want to know if it'll work, so let's, um... Let's just, uh, let's load a quick save real quick. And I want to try that and see if maybe a better angle could help. It's really bordering on the edge of probably not intended, though. Take this guy out. Let's just walk around like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, whoop, that- not quite like that. Uh, okay. Nope, wrong thing. There we go, that's what I wanted to test with. Is this even feasible? It is! Huh. Let's do some testing here, cause I'm really- I really need to do some testing. Um. There. <laughs> so let's break that connection. And let's see, where did I do this from? I shot from here, right? So... We had that there, and we wanted to shoot there. What kind of angle would that require? Is even possible? It has to be up a bit. Yeah, I don't think that's even gonna work. I don't think that's possible. So that's off the table. Huh. Back 
to the drawing board. I'll do some more experimenting off-camera, because at this point I'm just completely lost. Be right back again. Alright, so it's been a new day, I've slept once or twice, and, uh... Still couldn't figure out what to do, but thankfully I had happened to- to mention to Libby Bappa that I was stuck. After asking the author for help, uh, Libby Bappa came in, and recorded a solution video. So I watched up to the point where I was stuck, and figured out what the next step is. And, <laughs> I'm really mad at myself, because... Earlier... When I was looking at this, I thought there was a ceiling above this, so I thought that if you were to turn on this funnel, the cube would just get stuck at, like, right here, and wouldn't be able to go any higher. And, uh, yeah, that's why I was stuck for so long, because the ceiling is actually right here, so that if you get a cube flushed with this, pointed at this, you're good to go. Not at all what I expected. So... Now we need to figure out... How to make this happen. So let's see, let me just load... the save that I was at. Cause that- that's the save where I didn't really do anything. I think that was where I was at already, but uh, yeah. So let's see here. We can probably take... I think what Louie Bapa did was get both cubes up to here. So we could try doing that first, I suppose. Hmm. First of all, let me get this cube up here. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. Oh, come on! <laughs> Are you serious? Well... <laughs> back to the quick save. Back to the quick save. Maybe I'll actually quick save this time. There we go. Right, let's do this slowly, carefully, and gradually. There we go. Much better. So this guy's up here now. And then... Then we just press this a bunch. I'm actually surprised at how far away my cursor is from pressing the button, and yet it's still pressing the button. That's- that's an impressive level of- oh my gosh. Right, and then we get the other guy. Let's see, I think we just want to aim it like that. Yeah. Surprisingly, that just works out. And then we want to... I don't know if it matters which one is which, at this point. But we'll do that. And then we'll shoot it in there. And eventually, even though it's a little bit rotated, it'll, it'll go- get pushed up, I think. Right. It'll sort itself out. Uh, then... We need to do this part again. And, uh, <laughs> I discovered I was horribly overcomplicating things whenever... I didn't need to put the cube there, I could just put it in the funnel myself as after I shot a portal there, so... <laughs> horribly overcomplicatedness. Oh, crap. <laughs> let's- let's pretend I didn't just walk down. Uh... How do I... I guess I just do this thing again? Doesn't matter which orientation that is. Uh, well, I kinda want it to be in a nice, neat orientation, so there. We'll do this again. Right, so that's gonna go press the button again. Oh right, I could just walk on the light bridge. Okay, I'm- I'm mixing things up here. I'm- this is a little bit too complex for me, okay? <laughs> this map has bested me, I will say that much. Let's do this again. We need to get the light bridge again. Save. Continue. Uh, right. There we go. Right. Point that there very carefully. Maybe stand with the cube. Hey, Did it. Right, so now... I think it might just be a simple matter... Might be a very simple matter... of raising the cube high enough. Eh, 
close enough. Can I actually jump up this? No. A little bit lower, perhaps. Eh. Can I jump up that? No. I'll figure it out. <laughs> nope, that's a little bit higher. How am I making this go higher? That shouldn't be possible. I'm aiming below the center of the portal. Apparently the center of the portal is not where I think it is. Okay, now that's too low. Whatever. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this part again? Right, I need to press that button. Right. I'm- oh crap. Well, <laughs> I'm severely overcomplicating things. I can't even remember a video I just watched. Then again, I didn't watch the entire video, but still. I just watched it, up to a certain point, and I can't even remember what I watched. Let's try this again, perhaps. Better yet, let's do it on this side. How high does it need to be all the way? Right, we can't go all the way. Hmm, yes, that's what that's for. Right. Okay, I remember now. I remember. Slightly now. Let's try this again. If you can't tell, I'm not very good with, uh, the complexity of this puzzle, if I hadn't said that enough. But what I have to do is I have to point the laser cube into the portal instead... So that... I think I can see it all from the button. Should be able to. Right, I need to do... The height of this doesn't really matter too much, I don't think. There, that's good enough. Oh, but wait. This might not work out exactly the way I'm hoping it will. Maybe. Oh. Hey, what do you know? Well, that's the thing I've done now. Okay, that's as far as I've watched, I think. Excellent. Yeah, and that is an ore gate. I think Lumi Baba also complained about the lack of signage on the dropper. Right, so, now. We should be able to just respawn both cubes, right? Okay, next question, why did I even do any of that? <laughs> what was the purpose of what I just did? Mm-hmm. Wait, was that just... was that just for the exit? Was that just one of the exit requirements? Can I just leave now? Is that a thing I can do? How do I actually get up to the exit, by the way? I guess from here, right? Okay. Hmm, let's- let's figure that out then. So... can't I just respawn both cubes? I have a save. Uh... There we go. Manual save created. Let's respawn both cubes. Oh yes, that actually seems rather simple to do now. Try this again. Give me this. Thank you. There we go. Problem solved. I think we're actually just done now. <laughs> I think- I think that was the one thing that I was missing was how to activate that laser thing. The bootstrap the laser. Let's see. 
theoretically, I should be able to just do this. And... Survey says... Wow. Yeah, that was literally the only thing I was stuck on. I thought there would still be a lot more to it, but thankfully that's it. So yeah, I've already voiced my complaints about the map so far. I think it's a pretty good puzzle. I just think that some of the geometry here should be reworked. Like, the way this is set up... Why did the Death Girl turn off? I never needed to worry about that. Like, it's good that it's off, but I just respawned both cubes. Like, unless I broke the map, but... I don't know what the Death Girl's for. But I think this should be reworked so that it's not so confusing to players. Cause this was a clever idea, just poorly implemented. But yeah, cool map, thanks for the request. And I look forward to more. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!